In this tutorial, I'd like to show you Boink's Effects Tiles. Effects Tiles is a set of effects and transitions that feature excellent 3D shattering and tiling and are very easy to customize. I'm in Premiere Pro, but these effects also work in Final Cut Pro 10, Motion, and After Effects as well. You can find FX tiles in video effects under Boink Software. Let's start with Spread 3D. I'll drag the effect onto my first clip. Spread 3D breaks apart the image into tiles and offsets each one. First, let's take a look at the presets that come with this effect. Using these presets on their own will give you a quick and easy effect with very little effort. In the effect controls, there are quite a few options for customization. First off, we have control over the number of rows and columns that the tiles will spread into. I can increase the rows slider to turn the video into long horizontal bars, or the columns slider to turn them into vertical bars. I like the original effect for this clip, but I'm going to slightly decrease the amount of rows and columns from the default to give me bigger, chunkier tiles. For animation curve, I tend to like quadratic in out, which is an ease in, ease out animation. The start at percentage is a handy slider. On the timeline, I'll move to the spot in the clip where I'd like the animation to start and adjust the slider accordingly. You can reverse the animation for a different effect by checking its box. Adjusting the minimum and maximum depth to a wider amount will make my animation a little more dramatic as the tiles moving backwards and the tiles moving forwards will do so at a greater amount. Next, you have the option to adjust the camera angle and position. And finally, I'll add a little motion blur. Now let's drop the Shatter 3D effect on my next clip. You can see it's got very similar parameters with a bunch of different presets to get you started. I'll move the end at percentage slider back about halfway and check the reverse animation box so this clip rebuilds itself from a shattered state. Next are the controls for the particle system. The X, Y, and Z angle sliders control the range of rotation of the particles. Similarly, the Z position sliders control the amount of backwards or forwards movement on the Z axis. For example, this effect could have all the particles explode forwards if these are both positive values, or backwards if they were both negative values. I'll select the Fade Out option for the visibility, which really fades in because we're reversed. Lastly, I'll turn Motion Blur on for a little more added realism. Now I'll quickly show you the other effects you get with FX tiles. Flip 3D will divide your source image into tiles and flip them in 3D space. Flip and Reveal 3D will divide the source image in tiles and flip them in 3D space to reveal the same portions of the destination image. Shatter and Rebuild 3D will shatter the source image while rebuilding fragments of the destination image in place of the source. This also has a separate effect that includes a fade. And finally, Shatter and Reveal 3D will break up the source image to reveal the destination image below it. Flip and Reveal and the Shatter and Rebuild effects work as transitions, with the added transition parameters. First, set your transition target layer. Then you can leave the transition set to automatic or keyframe the transition progress parameter. Boink's Effects Tiles offers a quick and easy way to add some dramatic 3D action to your clips. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at noiseindustries.com.